Hey guys, RC here back with episode 19, Football Manager 20, our journeyman save. We're with SB Lebendorf in Austria. And, uh, eh, you know, things are going okay. Let's take a look at the schedule. So let's see, last episode, I believe it was BW Lens and Lightbring. Pretty sure that was right, because I think we had the two shocking wins. Uh, then we got a 1-0 win over uh, Aller Helegen. Uh, Marvin Kern with a 93rd minute goal. Uh, Lafnitz, we beat 3 1. Sommer, John Grima, and Ludovic Navillo, our French winger on loan, got the goals. Uh, Amstet in a 2 1 win. Kellen Pasquale got an 86 minute goal to make it close. Mick Morning and Callum Clark, uh, striker pair, got the goals in this one. And Wolfsberger, we actually surprised them 2 to 1. Mick Morning and Callum Clark again. Morning got one right at the end of the first half in stoppage time. Uh, we came back for some friendlies. Uh, we lost to Basil, beat Will, or drew with Will, and then had wins over uh, Badoos, Harndorf, and Anif. And we're back for Dernburn, Dornburn, and Viner Sports Club uh, to kick off the home stretch of the season. Taking a look at the competition, we are in second position after 15 matches played. 10 wins, 3 draws, and 2 defeats. Plus 21 goal differential and 33 points has us 3 behind Vacher Innsbruck and 4 in front of BW Linz. So we're doing, you know, and what's that? 27, that's 6 points in front of Wolfsberger. So we're on track for that top 4 that they wanted last year, but now they want the top 2. So... It's going to be tough, uh, you know, I mean, we may fall short. Now, we've gone through, remember that big gap here that we had all these friendlies? We had this winter, uh, winter break. So, you know what that means. We had some transfers to look at, and it was interesting. So, first, let's look at finances. We've shaved payroll down to 2.38, so about 600,000, 5 to 600,000 in payroll has disappeared and you can see our transfer budget is back up to two hundred and four thousand uh, that we did not really spend there's a reason for that uh, we have made uh, offers to John Grima and Fabian Dittmar uh, and they are joining us permanently at the end of the season uh, Grima or actually Grima is leaving my bad Grima is leaving to draw in Team Furwine and uh, one of our competitors, but he's Welsh, so he takes up one of those foreign places. So we're gutting our winger position, so that's that's troubling. On the defender front, he's on loan currently, and he's joining permanently. Uh, he is a Austrian center back, and he has been playing very well. Uh, seven and a half rating and eleven starts, so. We were able to get him for a reasonable value, uh, actually end of contract. So that was great. And what else? Well, there you go. We have uh, said farewell to six players, uh, three of them just on loan. Uh, a lot of our young players out on loan. But Callum Clark uh, goes over to BW Lens for 64000 uh, Philip Bierbauer uh, goes off for 700 bucks, and Marvin Kern for $400,000. So he was a uh, French midfielder. So again, you know, he was he was playing a good bit, but he's gone over to League Two in France. And we made one move to pick up a loan player from Dijon, and that was Ibrahim Bakari, another Frenchman. So he comes in on loan to replace him in midfield but you know we trade off a little bit of salary but we also pick up some money four hundred thousand and pick up a loan player and um, hopefully that helps us out a little bit um, financially that was kind of the goal uh, I have asked several times uh, during the course of this season to take another coaches course and they've either told me that they need me for training uh, or that the financial situation is not good. Now, when you looked at the finances, you know, we are at 2.6 in the red. You can see we had a couple of upticks here. 
and some of that was selling but the board has made two injections one was uh, a little over a million and a half and the other one was just under a million dollars and that's this season so they are uh you know they're putting some money in the club to try to write it so i kind of feel obligated to do my bit the problem is if they are and you can see the the sales uh helped but that was the nine hundred thousand as well going into that so having moved off some some of our players we are pretty thin at a few positions if we take a look at the depth chart <clears throat> now this does not include our it does include our b team but only players that are two star or better uh, so you can see we've got three strikers, including Morning on loan. Uh, Novillo is on the right. Baum is on both sides. Uh, Bernhardt is on the in central. So we really only have Gilroy and Baum and Novillo and Baum on the wings. Pretty thin there. Bernhardt, Bakari, uh, and then Polisteris, Bernhardt in the middle. So when Bernhardt has to play that defensive mid, Bakari will come in. And uh, that gives us a little bit of flexibility there. Uh, Fitzpatrick, we've continued to get loan off, uh, not loan offers, transfer offers for him, but you know, well under what we're asking, and we're not going to let him go just for nothing. Uh, that is going to be a position that we're going to carry. Now, I may look to move him and capitalize on him into the season. We'll see. And then, of course, uh, we have Whitman, who we have now, uh, Dittmar, who we've signed to a futures contract. He'll be joining us permanently. And then we have Villar. They've also tried to either loan out or buy Villar, and we've said no because he's our depth. So we've really, we've really narrowed the squad down. And you can see this is, this is a pretty thin squad compared to what I normally carry. Uh, if we look at the registration i want to say we're at 36 we were at about 45 at the start of the season so um yeah but anyway uh we've registered everybody everybody's in we are full steam ahead so let's get to it let me know in the comments what you think of the transfers i think we did some good business getting our center back signed up uh, to uh, end of contract deal so we're on the road against Dornburn. We are heavily favored. So we're going to roll with that. All right. Why is our other guys just really tired? Is that what's going on? Morning. Yeah, morning's at 80%. And who's the other? Not Deckelman. Deckelman's uh, from our B club. He's going to be depth. All right, why am I not Beigel? Oh, Beigel is my third. That's that's what it is. Where's Morning? Morning. Morning's at 80%. Where is Beigel? There's Beigel. Beigel's at 79%. Okay, that's why they're out. All right, well, it is what it is. Let's get to it. Lacking in match sharpness. Two players are going to need squad numbers. Of course they will. Oh, I hope I haven't gutted the team too much. Too much. So we're going to see Bakari today making his debut in his first official match. Uh, Dittmar is on the sideline. Actually, he may not even be on the bench today uh, with coming out of the friendlies. I did have to cancel a couple of friendlies as well just to get... Uh, well, here's Grima, early set piece. Headed out, fly gets it, so there is a counterattack opportunity. Uh, he make he gets a good clearance out. That's not good. Good save by Fitzpatrick. Lays out for it. Come on, boys. Let's get creative. All right, they're inspired. All right, blend into the box. It's just sitting there. It's just sitting there, and they take him down. Oh, no, it's a foul on us, and they get the free kick. I thought we were looking at a penalty right there. Come on. All right, let's tell them to uh, demand more. 
We aren't playing poorly. But we blew this team out last time, but we did play them at home, so. Hmm. Bakari has been impressive. Let's uh let's go to the dressing room. Let's pop into our home tactic. It was disappointing. No cards to worry about. We do have some fitness issues. So we may have to look at subbing off those players. All right. Uh, demand more here in the early going. Blend into the box. And Philip Summer. I thought maybe he was off sides, but it looks like he just reached out and got a toe on that to poke it home. And we're up 1 0. All right. Summer is there. Okay. So the ball's in the air. So he's off sides when he gets the ball. Oh, and it went right out in front of him. The defender just knocked it the wrong way. That was a little bit fortuitous. All right. Friedberger into the box. And Philip Sommer. <laughs> he's got he's got the he's got the worst brace in the history of mankind, I think. All right, there's Sommer here. Trying to see exactly. Oh, the keeper just missed it. The keeper literally went up for the ball and missed it. Oh, that's brutal. All right, let's uh, Grima for Flick. And Friedberger for Filer. work on their mat you know they've got their they've gotten some game time we'll just have to work on their match fitness Ooh, we got a little lucky there because he beat three of our guys to get that shot off i'm not happy about that uh praise all right they're fired up and let's make a well no we're gonna cancel i'm gonna hold off for about five more minutes Maybe. All right, there we go. All right, let's bring off... Um, I really have quite a few subs here that I want to make, but let's bring off Gilroy and put Lubke on. I've promised Lubke more game time, so I need to actually start him in a few matches, but I need to make sure he's playing. I wouldn't really care about him, except he's Austrian, and we really need... There he is making his uh making an appearance. And there's Bakari. Uh don't don't lose it. Oh, look at the fight for him. Oh, he fights for that ball. Flick. Near post. Ooh, that was close. Alright, let's uh let's tighten up a little bit. And that's headed out. Back in, back out. Oh, there's the big hoof. Oh, there's a nice ball in. Summer. Oh, I thought we were going to be looking for a hat trick there. All right. One more opportunity. Flick. Cleared out. Oh, Bakari takes a hard tackle. Oh, their guy was invisible. I was like, what's going on? Oh, what a save, Fitzpatrick. That was a really difficult header. Did a good job getting down to it. I don't remember what we beat this team. Oh, that was not good. Get there. Come on. Close down. Oh, poked away. Didn't get to vet control. Oh, there it is. Bakari. Nice job. He's through. Oh, lay it through. Lay it through right there. Summer. Oh, no. Come on. You got to do a better job than that. If you want that hat trick. Oh, header going in. Cleared out with a big kick. Oh, there's a foul. Come on. That's got to be a red card. He went through the back of him. He didn't even get a yellow. 
Oh, love key into the wall. That's not good. Um, okay. That's that's an option. It does take some time. All right, there's a ball. Love key. He's got runners. Oh, taken down in the box, and Sommer's going to take the penalty. I don't think he's really good at penalties, but this is for his hat trick. And he dings the post. Ow. So how does it feel not to get your hat trick today because you're a poor penalty taker? <laughs> Bakari looks like he won player of the game. That's good. Sommer, an 8.3 rating and two goals. One point. One point. Excellent efforts. That is good. So they had another draw. We've moved within a point. We'll see you guys back here in a second for our next match. All right, we are back. I wanted to kind of go over a couple of things. So uh, the win that we just had, our seventh consecutive win. So that is a new club record. And let's see, just going through some emails here from the last few days. I always look at all these Austria kids. I just don't have the money to pay him right now. Alta Baumer, our uh, old uh, defender, our veteran leader. Uh, we've been rumored to have this takeover for some time, and then it always gets shot down by the board president. It's never been serious enough to shut down uh, transfers or anything, but, you know, it uh, does go through. All right. So today we are on the road playing Viner Sports Club. We're favored again. I think I'm going to go with our attacking home tactic right out of the gate. And let's see. So we'll have... Uh, Sommer and Morning up top, Gilroy Grima on the wings, Bernhardt Palisteris, Frick Whitman, Dittmar, Distel, and Fitzpatrick. So it's our it's our regular crew here. So Baum, Lubke, Weigel, Bakari. Yeah, this is uh so this is basically our regular starting team uh at this point. So this we should we should see the best that we have today with what we've got left. Minus Gilroy, of course, who's leaving. And, oh, it's a snowy day. Nice. Pick up where you left off, please. Don't slip in the snow. Go have fun. They're right back, starting off pretty slow. All right, we get an early, early highlight here. Crossed over to Polisteris. He's got a lot of space. Lays it off. Distal. Back to Polisteris. Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. Looks like it went over the bar. All right, well, they're not all going to be good on target shots. We're in the red. They've got a set piece. I don't like that. Ooh, I think we got a save there. That was a nice save by Fitzpatrick. I think I looked at their, that player, Dyke, or duck it was duck i think um but we uh we looked at him i remember him popping up several times that was interesting he went through that snow pile and and it you know you saw the ball kind of slow up that was interesting nice ball down to frick and that's not good that's not good i thought they were supposed to fix that come on all right another set piece that didn't have a lot on it rolled out to polisteris bernhardt grima oh he got past the tackle oh, some good ball movement 
Oh, look at the ball through there. And Sommer puts in his 16th. Gilroy with a nice ball through. Very, very good. 1-0 in the 14th minute. We'll take that. It's kind of hard. Let's go ahead and give him some praise. It's a little hard to evaluate, I guess, exactly how we're playing with the snow. Because, you know, that kind of takes away pace, ball control. We'll tell him to ease off tackles. Uh, Polisteris sends it out into the parking lot. Gilroy is nervous. Calm down, dude. Well, that's a, you know, for only being one nothing, that's as dominant a first half as I think you can have. We're going to encourage, we're going to ask him to watch his step to avoid a booking. And let's see if we can get Gilroy... that I need you to calm down. He seems confused. All right, well, that's... Now he's complacent. All right, well... Do I pull Distal off? Oh, man. The ball was just sitting there. We got a lucky clearance. I think I'm going to pull Distal off. Friedberger... And Grima, Gilroy, Gilroy's on the left. He's complacent. Let's put Lovekey on early. Milijovic. Not sure what happened there, but it's a goal kick. We'll take it. All right, get creative. They're pressured. <laughs> We can't get creative. There's snow on the ground. The, the blimp view. There you go. We're big time with the blimp. Sommer lays it off. Nice ball. Down to Sommer. Back to Frick. Into the box. And it falls to Grima, and he gets his second goal of the season. Looks like Mick Morning got ahead on that ball and dropped it right behind him. That was interesting. So there's Morning there. I'm not exactly sure what happened. So, right. Yeah, he got a little flick on header, and it went behind him to Grima. I don't know that that was on purpose, though. <laughs> I don't know that that was on purpose. Uh, come on. Let's go ahead and make uh, one more sub here. Who do we want to pull off? Lupke's on. Grima. Summer. Morning. You know what? Let's bring uh, Dittmar. Polisteris. What do I have on the bench? Bakari. You know what? Let's bring Bakari in for Bernhardt. Let's do that. That one got drilled into the box. Oh, there's a nice header by Morning. Conrad had to go up to get that. That was actually on target. That was a nice header by Morning. I think I'd like to sign him, even though he would be a foreign player, but we just can't afford him. Oh, come on. Who is that? Ditmar. Ditmar. You missed. That was horrible. He went up for the header and I, uh, he got about as much clearance as I did. I would in this day and age. All right, we've made all of our subs. Um, I think let's, let's drop into the defensive, more defensive minded tactic and tighten up. They're frustrated. That's fine. Felix Altebaumer picks up his fourth yellow. Maybe he did that on purpose to help us out. We're into the final minute. As long as we don't 
give this away and keep the highlight, we should be all right. Oh, there's a nice ball into Grima in space. Lubke at the back door, and he's got his first goal of the season. That was brilliant. Brilliant goal there. And we will walk out with a 3-1 victory. Looks like Vacher Innsbruck won their match as well. Yeah, they got a win, so uh, they stay a point up. 44 goals, so we do have the most goals. Oh, that was another email I got that we have the most goals. Uh, Grima, one goal, one assist. We will praise him. And Ingles. All right. Distal reaches his yellow card limit. So where do we come back? Let's come back for... Tell you what, I'm tempted to come back for Horn and Innsbruck and then come back for Linz and Leifering and then close out with Amstetten and Wolfsburger. That's three matches in a short stretch, but I think, you know, chasing the title here, I think that that bodes, I think that's what we need to do. So I think, it, yeah, I think we go... Horn, Horn, and then Innsbruck. We'll be back for that one, and then I think we do three matches heading into the to the end here, and see if somehow we can gain promotion. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. Much appreciated, and we'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.